Ah, boy. Outside of the Cardinals game, the Packers, you know, they got to give us some, uh, they got to give us a couple of heartaches. Not heartaches, but some headaches and, you know, let our hearts stop a couple of times. But eventually, these young guns, this young team, man, they pull through. They pull through, you know. Um, and I'm proud of these guys, man. When you consider so much of this roster, it's just young guys figuring it, figuring it out on the go. And you see how successful they are. I'm proud of these guys, man. Uh, along with our, our veterans, the Jairs of the world, Preston Smiths, Kenny Clark, Xavier McKinney. You know, those are vets, but... A lot of guys on this team are youngsters figuring it out, man. And they figuring it out, you know, mistake by mistake, but game by game, they're figuring it out. And while this was a rough one and we had every reason to lose this game, we pulled it off. And ironically, game winning kick. It's just the po the poetry of it all. It's incredible, man. Let's watch what happened, man. So before this game started, I did see the highlights, well, the, uh, you know, social media clips of Stephon Diggs getting into it with what, it looked like it was Keyshawn Nixon. It did not look like it was Jair, even though Jair and Stephon Diggs are the ones that have the, uh, as Jordan Love tries to force it. And throws an interception. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what Jordan's like. What is that? Is, so it looked like a slant route. No, it was an out route to Dontavian Wicks. And again, it wasn't open. I don't know. But anyway, we know Jair and Stefan Diggs are the one that had beef. Um, so, but it looked like it was Keyshawn Nixon. It did not look like it was. Um, in the game's first two minutes. It did not look like it was uh, Jair. Snaps his hands and takes the snap. Rolls away from the heat. Now has to get rid of it incomplete. Yo, this defense, man. Let me tell y'all something. I forgot how many points they gave up. I think 21 or 22. So three on the board. Trying to see if it's man or zone. It's zone. Our defense showed up today. That's what I'll say. Our defense showed up. Our offense gave every reason for us to lose. Our defense held up, believe it or not. Really, really proud of these guys. Um, and they held up not in a turnover way because that's kind of the M.O. on our defense. We'll give up some yards and some points, but eventually we'll get turnovers. I don't think we got many turnovers this game. Um, but we, we got big-time stops when we needed them. Play action going up top on the short yardage. He's gonna run for it and get it. Great decision by CJ Stroud. Bro is stood, man. CJ is him. Oh, look at Xavier. It don't look like he got an interception, but still making big plays, man. I love Xavier McKinney. Look at Tucker Kraft. Continuing to build that phenomenal. Build on that phenomenal season he's having so far. Great cut by Josh Jacobs. Great cut. Great throw in the slam route. Romeo Dobbs. It's good to have him back, man. He had a great last week. Good to see him. Keeping the momentum going. Love pass caught first down again. Melton this time. It's a play that was not smart. That had the ball down at the 35. That leads the Packers to a second and nine from the 19. Oh, great catch. And a diving grab by Wicks. How about saving him, Wicks? Down coming up. Went out and got that. Here's Love. Yeah, I saw that throw. That throw was incredible. And great catch by by Tucker Craft. Um, just to j jump out there and get it. It looked like it was a tad bit overthrown, but Kraft just went out and got it, man. Third and 
But it was actually a really, really good throw. When you consider where Jordan Love placed it and where the defender was, it was the perfect throw. That was a great throw by uh, Jordan Love. It's so crazy, bro. Jordan Love has the perfect blend of Rodgers and Favre, right? Now, this play right here. Like, and look, you'll never get me to say anything bad about Keyshawn Nixon. I mean, what he meant to us in our 2022 season, he pretty much gave us a reason to believe in the special teams in a time where our special teams was the absolute, it was like, it, it, it was the worst thing ever. And Keyshawn Nixon, what he did for us in 2022, is pretty much what got why he's on the team still. Because while he's shown that he can be a, a serviceable uh, DB, um, he hasn't done anything like crazy. He hasn't, you know, I think since we've consistently had him playing quarterback, I think he only has one pick. He might have two, but I think one. And ironically, I think it was against Patrick Mahomes uh, last year. But I could be wrong. Uh, but so I say all of that to say what kind of got Keyshawn his contract was his 2022 play as a kick and punt returner. Now, he hasn't been that effective recently. Um, but, you know. That, but this is this is just embarrassing, man. Our special teams, we saw it cost us. It cost us a couple of years in the playoffs. Um, if we don't figure it out, man, it's going to cost us again. But, you know, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there, which is what we always do. Even though, again, this game was won because of our special teams, so... Shout out to Brandon McManus, man. Yo, I don't know why these Texans playing with us. Doing Lambo leaps in Lambo Field. But, like, y'all see, y'all know our fans. We'll push your ass. Don't be jumping up in the stands if you're not a Packer. Hell wrong with these Texans, man. All these Lambo leaps. Green Bay fans, crazy. We might mess around and hit you. That was a great throw. Great catch by... Dontavian Wicks. He continues to to build his resume, Dontavian Wicks, man. He's continuing to build on his resume and and show his uh, you know how uh, how good of a player he could be. Telling you, man. The special teams, boy. It's going to be the depth of us, I'm telling you. Second and one. That's going to be enough for a first down as they go to Diggs. And you know, Diggs started all that drama before the game. I think, I think Diggs only had like five receptions for like 20-something yards. Like, he did all that and he really didn't do nothing. Great defense. Great defense. Great way to uh, crash the pocket. CJ got uncomfortable. Wasn't really able to put his legs into that throw. And uh, great coverage. Boy. Now that's the Brett Favre of Jordan Love right there. That's the Brett Favre. I mean, completely covered. Like, this is not open. This is not open. You overthrow it. So, for one, it's not open. Coverage is there. I mean, maybe maybe he could have made a play. God damn. he's Yo, who is that? Christian Watson? He is up there. He tried to go get it, Christian Watson. He is up there. But it's not open. Again, the safety clearly was watching this. So... That's this is like the second or third week in a row where 
Jordan Love just doesn't account for the safety. Like, I don't know if he's getting tricked or what, but it's like he's not seeing the safety. He's not seeing the safety help. I, I don't know why that is, but, you know, maybe it's the way defenses are disguising what the safety is doing, but he, he, he constantly just doesn't account for the safety. So I'm assuming he thought this was a one-on-one -on -one situation and maybe Christian Watson could make a play, but clearly the, the safety was there and, and was hawking this the entire time. Um, So it's not open one. Two, you overthrow it. Three, it just wasn't a good decision. Like, I, I, I don't know. Man. That's the Brett Favre coming out of Jordan Love. That's the Brett Favre. of his rookie season and all of a sudden when a guy blitzes one of these guys somebody else has to handle it mm. to Mixon. he's by the way he's on his way past McKinney and there he goes down the sideline breaks a big one Joe Mixon having <sighs> yeah this wasn't this this was one of the drives where the defense kind of you know definitely collapsed on us he's all the way down to the four and first down running behind you got the 4D line here Collapse the edges and force it back inside. There's Mixon. Mixon mm. finds his way to the end zone and another Houston touchdown. It's a great adjustment. It's Mixon. He's great tackle. Yo, I love. Yo. The two -point this youngster right here. It's over 75 today. He's going to be something to mess with. Oh, man. Look at Kenny and look at. Who is that? Wilson Boy, it's so good to see Kenny Clark make a play Because Kenny, you know, he, he was having a quiet year He is having a quiet year But, um, made a play there That was a great throw by Jordan Love And catch by Romeo Good on Josh Jacobs They really hit the gap Turn on the Jets Get the first down Sitting out this play, first and ten Yo, the Lions beat the Vikings, bro. I'm telling you, bro, in the NFC North, it's no time for losing. If the playoffs was today, the entire NFC North is in the playoffs, bro. Including the Bears. It's crazy, bro. It's no time for losing if you are in the NFC North. But that was a great drive by the Packers. Josh Jacobs getting in the end zone. Great defense by Williams. Williams Wilson, excuse me. The first down catch it Make, been he, uh, he been making great plays on back-to-back -back drives. Go Jaden Reed on the sweep. Ah. And you know what's so annoying? The Texans defense was pretty beat up coming into this game. I think they were missing like five starters, if I'm not mistaken. So I feel like this was really a game where we should have kind of bullied them and been going vertical, not horizontally, you know. And granted, you know, the sweeps with Reed have been effective all year, so I get why you run it. But just considering how beat up the Texans uh, defense was, I think I kind of would have went with a little bit more brute force and more vertical plays than, you know, the horizontal sweeps and all of that. 46 of Green Bay, the first big pass play. And look, I think we did a lot of zone, but again, to hold Stephon Diggs as Wilson makes another play, to hold the, uh, Stephon Diggs to 20 something yards as Jordan Love gets sacked. Um, Keyshawn Nixon and, and Jair did a phenomenal job. Man. Phenomenal job. Great decision by CJ Stroud here. Oh. Jair, he got the first down. Third and eleven. Gonna take off again. Nowhere close. No room at all. He's looking for a flag on it. Yo, Jair. Yo, I love Jair, bruh. He is he's yo. Jair is crazy, bruh. Second and nineteen. He talks shit, but he back it up. He one of the best. As we give up another sack. But Jair is him, bro. He talked the talk and walked the walk, bro. He do. 
across the 50 and down to the Packers 45 yard line. What a drive starter that was. Great adjustment by Bob Slowick. Shotgun. I like Mixon. Third and one. Taking a shot outside. Otherwise, I don't we'll think see how up front hold up. Oh, they're going for a big play here. Again, he has to throw on the. Oh, got it. The completion that takes for the first. Mm. That boy Nixon. Now, Nixon. Just... Wow, that's exactly what I was saying. You need chewing, to... chewing up the odds, man. This look like man to man. You got to stay in field goal range if you're Stroud. He throws it. Oh, he caught that? Is caught. What a catch by Hutchinson. Damn. He caught that. Stroud from the pocket, flings it sideline. It's caught. For the lead from 35. Bear Bear, well, again, defense held him to three and gave our offense a chance, you know. Um, I, I really hated our timeout management in the first half. Did a better job of it in the second half. Left, you know, the offense with one with uh, over one minute left. Um, but our defense held up when we needed them to, man. That's that's kind of the moral of the story for me. But Jordan Love got to make the plays, get us downfield, protect the ball, get us in field goal range. They throw the craft to start it off. Texans, of course, giving up everything uh, underneath. But, it's the, you know. Like, I never really understood that method, especially in with this kind of score. I could understand giving up everything underneath if you're in a, maybe you need a touchdown situation. But if you only need three and time, it, it, like, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just allow teams to just chew up yards like this. Like, I never really understood that give up everything underneath and all you need is a field goal again maybe a touchdown but not a field goal like they again they just giving up everything underneath and letting us walk down the field doubt oh i was about to say if romeo caught that that was a great catch i call on the veteran just came here on wednesday he's got this to win it low snap the kick We did it, man. We did it. And look, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, McManus is the answer. We won't know but because there's only one game. But when we needed him to make a play and win the game for us, he did it. He did it. And that's all we need, bro. We just need somebody that when it comes down to it, you can make the kick. You can make the play. And McManus, he did it for us, man. He did it. You know, sign. I think we signed him Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I forgot exactly what day. And just like that, he had to win the game for us. You know, that's how pivotal it is to have these weapons because you never know when you'll need them. You know, who knew this game was going to come down to a field goal? And we needed somebody who was going to make it. This was a do or die, win or lose situation. And when we needed him, he made it. You know. Packers, man, we did it, baby. We did it. Five and two, it feels good. Again, it's a, it's a team full of youngsters. There are going to be a lot of headaches. They're going to make the mistakes. It's going to be annoying. It's going to be a lot of games where we're not going to like what we see. But when we get to triple zeros at the end of the game, if we won, we'll take it. We'll, we got to take the growing pains when it comes to this squad. We have to. But just the fact that they're beat, like every up to this point, everybody was kind of like, well, we haven't beaten anybody. Well, we beat the Texans. And the Texans are really damn good. They're five and two. <laughs> And they look pretty damn good this game. We had every reason to lose this game. The mistakes we made, the points we left out there, 
Jordan loves back, you know, two interceptions. Like, we had a lot of reasons to lose, and we won. And it was against a good team in the Texans. So, I, I think we're moving in the right direction. It feels good to see Minnesota lose, even though that means the Lions had to win. Um, but, you know, once we get to those divisional games and – it's going to get inter- it's going to be very very interesting man again the NFC North is in my estimation the best division in the league this year um again if the playoffs was today all four teams would be in the playoffs um Caleb Williams appears to be moving in the right direction um you know and and the Lions and the Vikings have looked great up to this point and we're the ones that's kind of up and down, inconsistent, but um, but on any given weekend, I I would take us over anybody. Like that's the kind of team we are, where we have a lot of question marks and we make a lot of mistakes. But on any given week against any team, I would take us because of our talent and because of our big playability. I would take us offensively and defensively, like. It, we're, we're always just one Xavier McKinney intercept, interception or one big touchdown from Jordan Love away from beating anybody. So, feels good, man. Again, 5-2, and two, great start. For the Texans, you know, sure, you lost, but it's a non-divisional game. Um, still a great team. Got a great young quarterback. Great talent around them. Tough loss. Came down to the final play. Um, Texans will be fine. Texas will be fine. Uh, I think when you look at the AFC and how that division will shape out, I think the Texans will be one of the final teams. So you know, just a it's one of those just one of those games where both teams kind of really wanted to win to kind of solidify who they are and what they're doing. And uh, the Green Bay Packers came out on top, but the Texans the Texans are fine. Texans are fine. But y'all let me know how y'all felt about it, man. Let me know how you feel about both teams, how you see their seasons ending, and how you felt about this game, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that 75K giveaway. Until next time, peace.